Good afternoon, Lehman Griffin here with How to Do Everything. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the basics of Fruity Loops FL Studio. Um, and I've got FL Studio 8, but it should, uh, the basic concept will apply across the board of Fruity Loops. So, what I'm going to do in today's video is I'm just going to give you a quick overview to show you um, the basics of the program. If you're a first time downloader, you're not really dug into it, this will give you kind of a where everything is and what the majority of it does. So uh, we'll start off and get out of all of this. Kind of got a little extra stuff open here. So these are your folders or your directories on the left here. And this is going to be all of your saved files. It's basically like having a, an Explorer folder open inside the program. You can look at all your sounds, you can do all your effects, everything from this, this list right here. Um, up top, you're going to have your various controls. File, this is where you'll open and save. And then right here will be some recent ones that you've had. Edit is where you're going to um, basically just do some minor edits, undo, things like that. Channels, you can add a channel. You can add, These are all the different um, preset effects that you can um, layer on a channel. The view window, this is going to be all of your different windows. Your playlist is the larger window right here to the right, so you can undo that make that go away and we'll add it back here and then your browser that goes away that's the left side there where all of your um, files and everything are and then you got your step sequencer this right here is probably what you're going to use I wouldn't say most but for a beginner you'll probably use it most um, and then you've got your um, mixer I'll get into that in a later video but basically, this right here, your step sequencer, this is going to be the most popular thing that you're going to use. Each row represents a different sound or a different instrument. And then each square is a beat. And you'll see these is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you can adjust the length of this. You can also adjust how many beats per bar there are. So we'll start off. Um, this right here is your basic clap. To select a beat, you'll actually click in here, and every one of these you click will create a note for that. So we'll fill up every other one, and now what we can do is hit this play button here, and it's going to loop it. And I don't know if you can hear that, but that's going to play the different sound. Now if you want to erase this, you'll right click on each note, and it will erase the sound, or you can right click and drag all the way across. So those are your sounds. To select a channel, you're going to click the green note here and it'll select different channels. Or you can just click in whatever channel you want. So that's how you do that. Your play and stop buttons are up here. Um, up here, this is where you're going to turn on and off your MIDI control for your keyboard. Right here, you have a metronome. This is nice. You can turn that on and it'll give you like a tick so that you can keep on beat if you're inputting your own sounds from a guitar, from a keyboard, from a, a MIDI instrument. It'll keep you on beat with the with the tone of it or the speed of it, the tempo. So when you hit play you'll hear a tick. And that's that. Now this right here you can actually speed up or slow down the tempo. It's at 140 beats per minute right now. Uh, we can take that and drag it down to let's say 100. And now at 100 you'll see speed it up or slow it down from there. So we'll stop that, we'll go back to 140. Um, this right here is going to be your volume. So let's say you have a hat and a clap, and a hat and a clap, and we'll hit play. You can turn it down and turn it back up. And that right there is going to speed up or slow down the actual um, Let's say the, the 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 note or the tempo of the sound itself. It won't actually slow down the speed of the song or the speed of the beat, but it'll slow down the sound of the note. So it'll make it higher or lower pitched. Over here, just some shortcuts to your different windows. That'll bring up your playlist. That'll bring up your step sequencer. That will bring up your piano roll, which I'll get to later. This right here will bring up or hide your browser. 
and then this right here will bring up your mixer. So just some shortcuts, <coughs> basic stuff that you'll need to know. All right, now we'll get to some of the sounds that you can do. Um, over here on the left side, as you can see, we're going to go to uh, packs, and these are going to be some of your instrument packs. Now I've got a few extra ones that I've downloaded, but your basic instrument packs, like let's see here, uh, drum synth, and then we'll go to instruments. You can see there's different instruments that you can choose from, and you can click on them and it'll play the instrument. Now let's go to dance, and let's say we want a couple, like a different clap. Let's say I want that one. So there's two ways I can do this. Number one, I can hold it and drag it to the channel I want, and it'll be selected, and then I can drop it in the channel. So now that becomes that channel. So when I hit play to test it, it's the new clap. Let's see here. Well, let's, I like that kick. So we'll drag that to the hat channel, or the Venusian. And now that's the kick. So. So now we've got the kick and the clap. I like that snare. So we'll drag that over to, I mean, and you can drag it to wherever you want. You don't have to actually drag it to the channel that's preloaded with snare. Um, so we'll put it there. And we'll do that. Let's see. So now we got a snare. Now, let's say you don't, you want way more than four um, instruments. So what you'll do, let's say you find a, a hat that you like, this right here. I want to open a new channel, so I'm going to right click it, and I could either send a selected channel, which the selected channel is the one that is highlighted with the green, or I can open a new channel. So I'm going to open a new channel, and you see it'll pop up a brand new channel here, and it'll select that sound. So now I can add in my notes here, and now hit play. So I've got that. So that's that. That's how you do your basics of, of adding your sounds. And you got to play with it. You got to go through all these lists here and find all your different. I mean, you go to vintage and you've got some old sounds. Um, you've got real drum kits. You can actually, I mean, it's all the way, all the sounds that a regular drum kit would make. So you can do some drum rolls, some crashes. You got some, uh, let's see here, some cymbal crashes pretty cool. But yeah, you can play with it as much as you want and really figure out what sound you want. Now, let's say you want to make it a longer um, note and, and this four note isn't enough. So what you'll do is you'll go to options right here and you're going to go to project general settings. Okay. Now, bar, as you can see, we go to five here and what it's going to do is it's going to add another bar. Beat what I was telling you about earlier is how many actual beats are inside of a bar. So there's one, two, three, four. So let's say I want to make that eight. So now I've got eight beats in five bars. We'll bring it back down to four. So now, as you can see, my song got cut in half. So now each loop that I do will be twice as long as it was before. And you can just close out of that. You don't have to hit save or anything. So now I've got a longer beat. So let's... Um, duplicate that. Let's add another there, and another there. Let's add another there, another there, another there, another there. Let's add another there, and another there. And let's keep this going all the way across. So as you can see, I've got that. So that's your basics. Now, let's say we like that. A little bit crazy, but let's say we like that. Now, to save it, you're going to go File, and you're going to click Save As. And now here you can either save it as a Fruity Loops file so that you can edit it in the future, or you can go down to MP3 and you can save it as an actual music file so that you can listen to it on a CD player, you can upload it to the internet, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, so that's how you're going to save files. Uh, keep tuned for future videos. I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth on how to create more music and not just beats. Uh, from this program. But overall, it's a really good program, and uh, I think you'll like it. Thanks a lot.